Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me, let's play some more Common Sense as England. So, I am, uh, looking around, I've been looking around between videos here at, uh, like, we can take admin tech, right? I'm trying to decide. Getting the technology would be nice, but we don't actually have enough to be ahead of time. And if we did do it, like, we don't have the money to build temples, so we don't really benefit in any way from being on admin tech 4, but... The sooner we can get ideas is good, and we do generate quite a few administrative points, so it's possible that we could actually get ahead of time and get those bonuses for at least a period of time. Um, especially that these, I mean, these two would be very valuable right now. But um, alternatively, we could do the development thing, right? Like we could bump up development, which on its own, each individual click doesn't do much, but it might be better than doing the technology for for now at least. So, like, if I did this, 53 administrative points would give us one extra development, one extra base tax, so we'd actually get monthly tax income plus 0 0.10, improved local spy defense, but also, and this isn't, this is kind of strange to me that it's not included in the tooltip. Remember we, earlier we figured out that the trade power of a province is affected by the total development of the province? So, here when it says that it, it increases monthly tax income and local spy defense, it should really also say that it increases local trade power. Um, I think all three of these should say local trade power plus 0 0.02. Just because it that's what it does. It does increase it. Also, development affects land force limit, naval force limit. I mean, it affects all these things. So, it's not just monthly tax income, 0.1. I think the trade power would be useful. Especially on this province, because it's got these multipliers. We've got 30 bonus local trade power, and then also a percentage-based multiplier of... What? Didn't we have a percent-based one? Our mercantilism. That's what's doing it. Well, it is nice having quite a bit of mercantilism. Alright, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna bump up... We'll try clicking it once. There's no cooldown on it. Now it's 59. So the cost is gonna go up by 5 automatically every time, plus a percentage, depending on how many times the total of development, so 23% comes from 23 total developments, and then 5, it's been improved one time, so 50 plus 5 plus 23%, minus the capital city and important center of trade. So we could like click around and we could look at the different numbers to see which one's the lowest, but I think London's going to be the most efficient to upgrade. The other thing we could do is look at the development tab, which this would be fantastic if for one, if, if not for one thing, you can't sort it, which makes it useless. <laughs> it's, what's the, what's the point of this? I mean, if you can't sort it, I don't see any purpose to it. I hate to say it, because it looks fantastic, it's beautiful, but like, these numbers, 56, 56, 56, 63, 63, 63, it's always, like, they're all the same. So... All I really care about, as a player, at least from my perspective, is I want to know where can I get the most bang for my buck, and it's probably going to be the one with the lowest development cost. So let me sort it. Anyway, um, since we can't, we're just going to assume that London's still better. We're going to bump it up a couple times. So that we have more trade power. We also have more raw income. And then from there, um, I'm going to basically just spend quite a few points right now on bumping up administrative based on I mean again I wish I could sort I wish I could sort it but I can't so I'm not gonna complain I mean I want to complain but I can't because we need the monies All right, well, hopefully, I don't know if that, I mean, I really don't know specifically how much money that ended up giving us. Probably not much, but we need every little bit we can get. At the very least, every click was 0.1 ducats a month, roughly. So how are we going to win this war? Well, we're not going to win this war. We're going to, we're probably going to lose this war pretty handily. I'm also tempted, because we do have the money at the moment, I think I will actually build that building. 96 ducats. I do think that that one building is probably worthwhile. I 
I think it will pay for itself. More so than the the expense of the loan interest. Hey, well we got that going for us. So, do we siege this thing down and just hope that uh hope they ignore me? We don't even have enough troops. We need 9,000 men to siege this thing. We could try to siege that. I think what I'm going to do is actually go down here, maybe see if we can kill some of Castile's army and get our get our fort back and then scorched earth it. Hope that he doesn't get lucky and do the thing again where he breaches the wall. Why are you not protecting trade? Protect trade in the English Channel. Oh, that's right. You were just an attack. That's... I remember. <laughs> I got all mad at him like, what the hell? <laughs> Why aren't you protecting? Get out of here! It's, it's obvious. It's because they were just in a bad fight that they didn't want to be in. But... Yeah. I'm going to try going back up to speed 3. Um, meanwhile, Castile is landing mostly cavalry up there. They've got four, five, zero, six with five regiments. All right, that's an opportunity right there. Picardy has come under the occupation. Yep. It's kind of to be expected. Let's drop the troops off for a second. Shoot. I actually wanted to wanted to bring the heavies with me. Actually, I want to bring all of them with me. Let's get the navies together. Hey, positive events. Also, also, here's the other thing that I'm really hopeful for is that if we get lucky, France has rivaled Burgundy. We need France. We're waiting for France to attack Burgundy. And when France attacks Burgundy, we might be able to buy time to get out of this. It could still work out. So, do we want 362 ducats, or do we want 15% trade efficiency and more diplo power? Well, we make 5.47 ducats a month from trade. We have a 10% current bonus. 5.47 divided by 1.10 times 0.15. So we're making, we'd make like an extra 7.5 ducats raw for how many months is it? I think it's, it's 10 years, so 120 months. That's 89 ducats in just raw income, but then you also got to factor in the uh, the bonuses to trade power. I, I really feel like this is probably better in the long run. Not to mention that we have access to uh, well, we have access to some more diplomacy points. Which hey, you know, if we actually get to this thing and get the ahead of time bonus, suddenly we'll be rolling in the trade money. I mean, not right now, of course. Genoa will cede land to the Ottomans. Very well. I want to kill their navy. Hungary will cede land to Poland. Oh, okay, so Austria's war's over. Or is it? I think I think it was. It was Austria versus Poland. So that means that Austria, who lost their entire army fighting Poland-Lithuania, maybe will have a chance to recover now. So Poland will give... Hungary will give 10% of their income to Poland. And the war will last, will last for 10 years, and they'll give them ducats. And that's it. With the no Cassus Belly, Cassus Belly. Cassus Belly, Cassus Belly, Cassus Belly, Cassus Belly. That's, um, I don't know what that's from. It's not, it's not from anything, I'm just, it's from a song. Cinder, it's, Cin uh, it's Cinderella, yeah. It's a little rat singing it. Cinderella, Cinderella, da 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 I'm oh, sorry, I'm in a weird place right now mentally. Anyway, we need a couple ducats. If I could go ahead and get a couple ducats. Just a couple ducats. Not protecting trade means we're not making any money. I think we can win this fight, despite Philippe here. We have way more boats than they do. And I want to be able to protect trade without worrying about my boats. Alright, we gained a heavy. We did lose a transport. That's a pretty good trade. We'll take it. Okay, light ships, protect trade, English Channel, go. You guys, go back to repair. Damaged ships, come with me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do manual repair so that they actually you know, get out there and do their job quicker. Alright, so... It would have been nice... Would have been very nice, actually, if I could have... Scorched Earth that province. 
Alright, once again, just everyone come into port. We'll, we'll sort this out again. Alright, light ships that are not damaged. Go protect trade in the English Channel. Everyone else, how, how well are the repairs? Could use a month of repairs. Let's grab the transports. Let's grab the light ships that are damaged. Tell them to protect trade. Um, all but one is ready to, to come out next month, so we'll do that. We'll separate him so that he comes out on his own a little bit later. As for the heavies, um, they have time to get over here. Let's let's have them kind of move with the transports. Something something East Frisia doesn't really concern us very much. Hey Leinster, give me all your money again. Siphoned income. I need that to go away. Also, hey Tyrone, do you want to just like become my vassal? I mean, you're at peace, so I'm just saying. All right, we'll stick around for a month of repairs. Did you guys auto merge again? Oh, that's cool. Kind of. I mean, they they merge because they're in the same same zone, even though I didn't actually want them to. All right, we'll detach damage. Come on, get out, get out of there. Go protect trade. I need the money. All right, Castile, I hate you so much. I just want you to know that. Very unlikely to see those sieges fall. Most of the ships are repaired. I think we can afford to let a couple heavies sit around. Let's come down here, see if there's any chance we can get Laborde back. It's not going to make us any money, but it'll keep Castile distracted. If I can get it back, and then siege it down. Alternatively, I could go on the offensive and just, like, try to take Castile's land. They have no forts on the coast. And some of this stuff is... What do we got? 11 development, 13 development. I'm pretty sure the war score value of a province... Yeah, let's check it out. From development, 13. So, the war score value of a province is exactly correlated with its development, with a base of 5. Somehow local trade power is getting facked in. So... Like, taking Asturias would be really valuable. And we could do it in just 30 days. So, let's come down here and see if we can find that navy. Wherever it ran to. There's no influence area. This one does, so these ones are all protected. But, like, Asturias... I really think we could just swoop in, siege this for 30 days, take it, get some loot. Maybe bring Castile's attention back down this way. We've got we've got naval control, which is uh, just about the only thing we have going for us right now. Managing to make some money while we are not uh, doing whatever. So all types of development give trade power. This increases goods produced, which we would probably want to do on, like, really valuable trade good provinces. And we do manpower on everything else. But, like, we want to have some that have really high base tax, and some that have really high base production, and then some that have really high manpower. Specialize the buildings. Um, but it doesn't matter which way we do it, they're all going to gain trade power. So it's okay to have an income province on the coast, I think. Although I haven't actually looked to see, like, um, what are some of these building chains? Like production. It's tempting. Can't actually build these things yet, of course, but... Look at trade power plus 50%. We need that. Wish we had the money for it, but I don't want to take out a loan. 2,000 ducats. Good God. I'm not gonna... I'm just... We're not gonna look at it. We're just gonna pretend like the problem doesn't exist. Right, he's coming over here with a 12 stack. Can my army even beat his army? Is 1 3 leader on tech 4 versus my 2 4 leader in the grasslands? With. Mm, yes, there's a river, but not through 
Ironic, actually, that there's no river between Leon. But if he comes, he's probably going to come through Cantabria. But he's got... F nope, he doesn't have five maneuvers. It's, it's Navarro's army. Uh, it'd be a bad fight. It'd be a really bad fight. How long is it going to take me to get there? Eleven days. If we see him moving into Cantabria... Yeah, he is definitely coming over. Damn it. You suck, Steel. Can we go all the way down here? We don't have support out here. And he definitely has something going on because he's actually um, at war with Galicia right now. Sorry, Granada. Why, um... Oh, Morocco's involved. Morocco! Can be friends? That might be why he's marching down, actually, because he's being distracted by the war with Morocco. Well, there's like 26,000 troops here. Oh, I found the Castilian Navy again. Hmm. With light ships. That's not good. Still. I gotta just kill this stupid army. Sorry, this stupid navy. Are we gonna be able to retreat? By August 4th, we might see some ships go down. Um, to reinforce? Or to not reinforce? I think we reinforce. There's a chance we can kill these regiments. Is the, there's three regiments there. Still, on the 4th, before these ships can sink, we will retreat them. One's down to 21%. Let's run with those guys. Have the fresh stack take over. And hopefully this buys time for the heavies to get up there. Meanwhile, the war with Sweden for their independence is, is going poorly. I haven't checked, but let's just make sure that none of our allies can be called to any of our wars. Didn't think so. This has been a very tough campaign. Like, um, I would have thought that starting off not at war with France would make it easier. But just the back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back wars... Um, has been tough. I mean, I've got like nine war exhaustion. It's crazy. I might lose a light ship. But if we can kill some heavies and three regiments, I think it's worth it. But you don't get war score for killing troops at sea. Like, the troops that just died don't count. They lost one regiment for sure. Well, actually, if they had three on there, they might not have actually lost any, but... If we kill three heavies to lose two lights, it's worth the trade, probably. Unfortunately, they breached the walls of Calais. Would not be surprised if they assault it. Hmm. Well, fifty percent more trade power. I really want that. 50% of 35. 17 trade power. I mean, that practically pays for the boats. And I don't have to worry about the boats being at risk. Taking the loan would cost us 35 ducats in interest. Over five years, could, could having that trade power make us five ducats? Definitely. Absolutely. I'm just going to do it. Just gonna do it. And we have like no manpower again, so we gotta be cheap. Go with regular regular guys. I am gonna build it's gonna take a long time to build these, but we're gonna build some more barks. We'll keep a small cushion in case we lose some troops and we've gotta reinforce, but No, we gotta gotta rebuild the lights. We gotta get you guys out there protecting trade again. If you're not damaged. And then we gotta make sure. Now I think we finally have full naval superiority.
Come on, France. Declare war. You know you want to. Attack Burgundy. He's a bastard. He's a little bastard and you know it. Your ports are blockaded. Well, if we're going to pay for these damn things, we might as well... The Hans is blockading someone. Who's the Hans at war with? Defender against East Frisia. Well, it's not exactly going to help us. No, it's far too difficult to take that fort. I think I want to try for Asturias again. Although, if we could get Holland, that would be like the one that actually matters the most. Let's go for Holland. If we can get Holland, we get a ton of trade power. We'll make a ton more money. 49% control of the English Channel right now is pretty good. The boats themselves aren't even providing very much, but it does does add up. All these embargoes, bastards. Hmm. That fight will go very easily. You guys are scheduled to protect together. Yeah, we're going to go for Holland. The thing is that I need... What do I need? I think I need uh, nine regiments. We got nine regiments. It should be enough. Oh, broke the Siege of Calais. He gave up his breached walls. I don't know why he just did that, but thank you. Appreciate it, Burgundy. Why do we have a second ship queued here? Apparently I just took out a loan anyway. We shouldn't, well... Ah. I need him. And I do need nine regiments, and it's not counting them as equal. Okay. We only have nine transports. I'm gonna need another transport so that I can afford to hide the whole army if I can. My goodness! Otherwise, Richard here is gonna be reinforced at uh, 80%. 8, 80. 80 men per regiment per month, minus the 1%, so 70. So just give him one month and he should be able to reinforce up to full strength and be able to start the siege. So on the, on the 1st of January, that siege should be able to begin. And at the very least, we are going to gain some money from looting it, which will probably pay for the reinforcement. Come on, France, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you to attack Burgundy. All right, well, I'm gonna take a break here. It's uh, situations grim, but you know we've we've seen grim situations before. So, all right, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.